So now let's take a look at a, a different scenario where you would want to add a user to the user profile. Let's say, for example, we have Jeff and Peggy Davis as residents within our address book. Peggy has become a member of the board and we need to change her security level to 25. Our board has decided that we do not wish for spouses to be able to log in as a level 25. So if we were to go in and edit this user profile and change it to 25 here, then Jeff and Peggy both, when they log into the website, would have access to all the board features. Since we've decided not to do that, what we want to do instead is add Peggy into the address book with a separate user profile. We're going to add her under the board member category that we've created. If you saw our other training video, this board member category was set up with a view security level of 25, so residents cannot see this category. We're going to add a new board member. and change your security level to 25. We also want to be sure to include an email address so that if we need to send out email bulletins to the board members, we can send them out to everyone in this category and they should have an email address. And that's all we need. Keep in mind that the login name must be unique. Each user profile has to have a unique login name. So we scroll to the bottom of the page and hit Save New. So Peggy has now been added to our board member category. Now you'll notice if we go down and do a search on the address book, and we're going to search for Peggy Davis. She comes up twice because she has two user profiles. So now when she logs in under this profile, she'll be a level 50. And when she logs in using this user profile, she'll be set at a level 25. So she will be able to view the board menu items and also have access to other modules or pages that are set up specifically for board members. I hope that you enjoyed this training video and please be sure to watch some of our other videos at www.youtube.com slash at home net.